I like that. That's good. Welcome to us. <laughs> Minus the two dudes. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, those boys drive me batshit crazy. Oh, I can't um, really help. Like, yeah. Honestly, like just blunt. <laughs> yeah, very blunt. It's yeah, it's an ongoing thing. But you get a, a thick skin from it. So yeah, it's good. totally. Yeah, they're like my brothers now, so I've just kind of accepted it. It's one of those things yeah. where you start dating a guy it's and they want to know his age, his height, yeah. who his past girlfriends were, his social security number, his tax file number, everything, so that they can hunt him down, find him <laughs> out. Is he available? Is he okay? Is he a nice guy? Yeah, all of the above. So That's I've given awesome. him a nickname of Derek just to gotcha. try and Confine squash it. that information. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, but what I really wanted to talk to you about today was fashion because. Yes. One of the things that we've noticed on the Gold Coast here is the girls here dress in so many different ways. Like yeah. you've literally got, you've got the hippie girl, the beach girl, you've got the surfer girl, then you've also got, what, the, the hip girl, city-ish, yeah, city girl, you've stylish. got office girl, yeah. you've also got rockabilly girl, yeah. uh, you've got shopping girl, you've got high-end fashion girl, you've got yeah. low-end fashion girl, you've got tracky dax girl, yeah. love her, she gets me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <It's> me <too. laughs> you've got questionable girl, and she's just yeah. the girl that hopes for the best when she gets dressed every day. Yeah. And I wanted to know, what would be your favourite fashion type up here? Oh, that's awesome. Um, the, the thing that I do straight away is go to my personal... Um, you know, encounter of what I choose to do when I'm here. Yeah. And because I grew up in Townsville, North Queensland, and um, are you a Queenslander? Yeah. North Shut the front door. Yes. I just said that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm oh. very much like singlets. Yeah. Shorts, That's why you're so cool. Um, sandals. Oh, thank you. Yeah, because um, you're a Queenslander. Yeah. Just we. I think we're a bit more relaxed. And, yeah. We know. zero f's given. It will be what it'll be. Yeah. You hope <laughs> um, for the best. But yeah, I I love just super relaxed outfits. Like even yeah. when I go. Um, to uh, like a red carpet event, I still prefer comfort over. Yeah, you know, I can't do tights. the when they put you in those really big gowns and then they're like, now you're going to wear these shoes that yeah. literally will make you feel like you've got a broom up your butt. Yeah, and oh, you'll I'm be recovering them. for the next week. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so I I love comfort. Um, the thing is with the different types. Yeah, I think it's okay to be a bit of both. Yeah, to, to be a bit of everything. Yeah, some days I wake, I'm just the tracksuit girl all day long. Yeah, some days I wake, I kind of feel. Oh, maybe I'm. A, I feel a little bit more corporate or sophisticated. I want to kind of step it up a notch. I might put an earring on or something. Yeah. Um, another day, I'm just in my swimwear all day. Yeah. Like, other days, I just throw something over, like a a, a, a throwover dress over my bikinis. Yeah. Or, or gym wear, active wear. Yeah, you're big on the I active wear. Much you have to be though, because of your thing that you're doing. The, yeah, but the I dance thing. comfy. As soon as I'm up, and I feel very sorry for my husband. But I put the, um, my tights on straight away. Yeah, sexy. And my singlet. Um, yeah. Sports but active wear is good in a way because it sucks everything in and it sucks. makes you have a skinny day when you're like, mm, yeah, makes I'm you feeling like Christmas ham. Yep, yeah, sucks yeah. everything in, but it also, um, I think it also creates a subconscious of motivation. Like, mm. I've got my active wear on, I've got my shoes on. May as well do something. Or yeah. I'm, I'm more inclined to walk a little bit faster, pace it out a little bit more. Yeah. So I think it's okay to be a bit of both, be a bit of everything. Um, so then how full is your wardrobe then? Because I, I dig yeah. the whole, you know, dress like anything you can. I am, uh, My wardrobe is a mix of everything. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not a big... Um, in, I'm not big in volume, so right. every six months I'll do a clean out. <gasps> How I, do you do it? I can't emotionally like I remove know, myself from I, some it, items. It started like that. Yeah, it did start like that. Yeah, but you know what? Mentally, I feel so much more clear right. when I open the wardrobe and I've only got, you know, four blouses to choose from, three, four skirts to choose from, a couple of jeans. Wow. And I just go, okay, it's not. I my life feels a bit like. Freer yeah, you've just have blown my mind because that, yeah, that <laughs> is definitely not my situation. There. My rule is if I don't wear it or use it within six months, it goes. Oh man! So unless you are cutthroat, unless it's like a, a key item that I've spent a lot of money on, yeah, like you know, good nude or black peel. Oh yeah, or really good. They nude, always come back around. Levi jeans or blazers or really good t-shirts mm. or stuff that you've spent a little bit of money on. Yeah, keep good swimwear, but um, I just I think. Shopping drains me a little bit, but if I'm only in there if I need really need something. Yeah. So, do you have a favourite place that you would frequent whenever you do come to the Gold Coast? Like, what is your what is your mm. bang and thang? In terms of shopping. Yeah. Ooh. Where would you go? Like, would you be a pack fair kind of girl, or would you go Harbour Town? Because it's like they usually do like ridiculous seventy percent off sales. You would know, you? I, I, 
Pacific Fair has always been pretty pretty nice. And like, yeah. didn't they just renovate it? And, oh yeah. yeah, they've got so, this big open area now with all these like beautiful little yeah. cafes and stuff. But I've always been a fan of seeing those little boutiques scattered throughout yeah. the, the weird streets, like yeah. walking okay. past a yummy, delicious cafe and then going, yeah. oh, there's a cool boutique. I've always been a fan of that as well. Yeah, they're really um, nice. But Pacific Fair, only because, especially with kids, yeah. when you get there, there's a baby change room. Yeah. Um, there's a place for pram. There's es elevators. Yeah, so. I was going to say, does that change your shopping experience? If you've got small humans, it's not like you can just go into like H and M or even if you want to get real fancy, go into Marj with like little tiny babies and be like, can you just mind them while I try on that cute top and skirt? Yeah, exactly. Like you can't do that. You are on their schedule most of the time. Wow. So if I feed Dominic and he's full and he's happy, I've got about half an hour <laughs> to do stuff. And Violet's actually good because she's a little bit older now. So mm. she just sits on the pram and comes with me and sort of just, you know, she's happy to look at anything and talk to anyone. So it's yeah. fine. Um, but yeah, no, it's all on their kind of time frame and their schedule. So yeah. Um, yeah, so I just sort of, you know, time it right. Yeah, and can you just quickly mention to the guys on the Gold Coast and just pretty much all of Australia, yeah. <laughs> your awesome yeah. dance thing. Now, how does this work? Because you are probably one of the only social media influencers and models and girls in Australia who are posting in a way that doesn't promote being insanely sexy when they're working out. I mean, you look good when you work out just because you're naturally doing your thing. So. Help us understand what we can do. Like, how do we get involved with what you're doing? Thank you so much. I just love, as we were saying before on air, I love, um, I love doing what I do. And I think when you're really passionate about it, you just want to post different things all the time that you're yeah. enjoying, and you want to share that. Yeah. And I love receiving back as well from everyone else that, yeah. that posts to me. Um, and you know, behind the scenes in the messenger and um, in, on Instagram messages, on yeah. um, Twitter messages and Facebook, we're constantly sharing and, and exchanging information with different people. That's it's awesome. awesome. Um, but it's Body of Dance, it's all online, so it's bodbyfinch.com yeah. and it's every, um, every program goes for four weeks and you essentially get everything from your dance cardio workouts, your stretch and strength sessions, um, we've got circuit classes, meditations and all your meal what? plans. What, you even do meditation in there yeah. as well? Wow. So I didn't want to just create the meal plans or just the exercise. Like, yeah. it's, as we know, it's all encompassing. Yeah, because so, you've got to have your mind and your heart in the game well, to this, really enjoy it. This is it. the thing, it's mind, body and soul. And my, I'm all for trying to tick off all the circle, all of yeah. the, the elements of life. Because you're not going to enjoy life. the physical part if your mind is not feeling good and you're not feeling You can meditate there. all day long every day Damn, and you're you're st you still want to be fit. You can stretch every day and you still won't be healthy. Yeah. You've got to have, I think, a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's really cool. And um, yeah, I'm just it's been the most amazing project to work on. So. Yeah, man. And you're catching yeah. up with the girls that do it on the Gold Coast yeah, this weekend. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Can't wait. You're so. a good egg. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love what I do, so I'm very grateful. Oh, we're really <laughs> glad to have you here. Thank you for talking to us in reception. Yeah, in reception. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give me a studio because they don't trust that I'm going to get paid enough. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs>